Uh, you get to trade your lunch in today. If you want one of these valuable presents that mom left, you get to trade your lunch in. All right? Mm-hmm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check what mom left me first. See what she left me. Oh, man. Can it be? Can it be? What? My own little drone? A brand new drone, guys. Oh, dang. This is awesome. Again? I made it. Oh, wait. That's not it. Yeah. So each one of these presents has something valuable in them. But before you trade, I want you guys to just taste what you guys have in front of you. So I want you to take a bite out of one of your favorite things. The juice also. You guys have to trade the juice. So you won't be able to have your juice today if you trade for one of these presents that mom left. Good. Does that taste pretty good? Yeah, a sweet one. No, no. Put it back down. All right. All right, so first, who should go first? You want to go first? All right. Do you want to trade? Um, I want to eat my things. You want to eat your things or do you want to get a present? Like Daddy got. Present. You want to get a present? Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead and grab your present. You can choose any one of these. Thinking like as soon as you picked it up, you're like, it's empty. It was empty, and then what'd you feel? That I didn't have anything anymore. That first I had something, and then I just gave it away for nothing. Yeah, and just that. Did, did you think about what you gave up? 
Or did you just, when you picked it up, you felt like you were cheated on? That means that he liked to sell something. Do you feel like it was unfair? Yeah. Yeah. The bad thing about sin is that we have a relationship with God and we're putting our relationship with God on the side so that we can have sin. So pretty much what hurts God the most is that we're choosing sin over a relationship with him. And so your relationship with God tastes good. You guys remember tasting the, the food? It would taste sweet, right? It tasted good. You were able to taste it and it was like, mm, this is what I need. This is what I need. My tummy is hungry. My tummy is hungry and this tastes really good to me. And it's like, that's the hunger that we have for God. God takes away this emptiness inside of us and we get to have some, we get to taste the sweetness of him. But then we see something that we think might be valuable and we are willing to trade what, what we really need. We're willing to trade what we really need for something that might not be good. It might be good. It might not be good. We think that there's something valuable. There's this, there's this feeling when, when you see sin, it's like, there's, it, it promises you a lot. It promises you a lot, but once you get it, it's actually empty and it's actually disappointing. And you feel like you've been deceived. You feel like you've been cheated. You feel like you've been lied to. So that is the- you were lied to. Yeah, well, that's what sin is. Sin will promise you that there's something left, that there's something. And, you, and the crazy thing is that you see other people trade. You see other people trade their relationship with God for their sin. And you see that they got something empty, but still there's this thought inside of you like, well, maybe it's not gonna happen to me. Maybe, I, maybe there is something more valuable that I can grab onto. And the thing is it, that it always ends up empty. So we can learn from other people. We can learn from other people who chose sin over God, right? The Bible stories are full of people who chose sin over God. You guys can't eat it. I want you to really understand what you gave up. Just that feeling of emptiness. No. That's why it's so disappointing. So disappointing that this was for you. And now, we get none of it. No, you gotta learn your lesson today. No, you can't! No, you can't! Take it down! Take it out now! Take it out now! declare today that we want our relationship with you father to be above all things we want it to be above all things go ahead Jeff. pray you're gonna pray for us go ahead <laughs> Protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Now let's eat.